Hello, this is your boy Benjamin and today we are having a simple tutorial on Scratch desktop which is quite different from Scratch 2. Okay, so this is our Scratch desktop icon. So let's get started and open it. Very good. We are not wasting time. So let's get started and open it and start doing business. Yeah, so you're going to explain how it's different so this is the interface and as you see it's quite different so these are our palette motion looks sounds events control sensing approaches variables my blog so you click you get the blocks and you can also scroll this up and down and you get all the blocks it follows in that order and then we have extension so we can add few extensions from here so we have music pen video sensing etc so many more so if you click like the micro bits which I love using you have uh, as it says um, I should install which I don't have yet so if I click I add more blocks to it which purposely for the micro bits and then when you come to the costume yeah it's almost the same yeah like the scratch 2 so we can select reshape so if you click on the reshape and you click on the shape that you uh, you want to edit so you can make more yeah edit from here <laughs> very horrible don't mind yeah just to know for you to know yeah we can use this to reshape all right then we can brush from here we can paint we can erase yeah which yeah we can erase uh, the sprites or whatever we, we draw we can erase and we can change the uh size of the eraser from here we can make it bigger up to 100 or we can make it smaller up to one then we can add test to it so you can fill color so now this is the color we have so if i click on fill now i can get more color from here so yeah so if i can fill from here all right and then we can draw lines we can draw cycles we can draw rectangles all right so this is about the costume we have to change the name so i can name it oh nice um not, uh, yeah nice cut all right so then we have different another costume here it's costume two so if you want to make our sprites uh, do something like walking on a stage yeah we have to alternate this um, costumes yeah so we are going to talk about it in our next tutorials how to alternate little sprites walk on the stage all right so we can also change the name we can select group on group forward back if you want to put something at the back of one sprite yeah one sprite in at the back or in front of it we can use what is here and then we have show height here we can change the name of the sprite itself from here and then we can set the size to let's say 50 yeah we can change the size so if you click on 50 you see it's smaller we can set the size to 170 yeah it becomes bigger and for the direction yeah it's now it's pointing to 90 so if you click uh, yeah we have this so yeah minus 90 all right, but if you click on this yeah it's point it has its head up all right so this is around it goes around all right this is left and right and this is do not rotate so it follows one direction all right so and we have the x and y coordinates here okay then let's talk about sprites for the sprites we have options which was given to us so we can choose from the options here yes from different options 
animals, people, fantasy, dance, music, sports, food, fashion, letters. All right, so if you click on people, you are going to get, get only the people that we have in it. Yeah, and we click on animal, we you get only animals here. Dance, yeah, we have some people dancing, but others, as we have in the people, some are not dancing, some are just, yeah, just, mm, sitting or yeah, dip, doing different jobs. So, dance, you can. You get sprites that shows like dancing. You get music, yeah, musical instruments more more often. Yeah, sports, food, yeah. So that is all about the sprites. And then we can also get. Okay, let's go back. Sorry, let's go back. We can paint our own sprites. We can make surprises like add more features, and we can upload sprites. You can upload your picture, you can upload whatever you want. And we come to the backdrop. Backdrop, also we can have options like if you want to do dance, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get a stage, yeah. Sports light, theater. Yeah, one and two. Okay, then you get sports, which is field, yeah. Different fields. Outdoors, yeah, we get playground, yeah. Sitting gardens beach yeah you get something like this yeah and indoors we have yeah library where's the library oh okay so this time we don't that but we can yeah we can create our own bedroom 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 chalkboard yeah okay classroom all right hall yeah, very good party refrigerator wow that's awesome all right so these are the indoors all right, then we have underwaters, we have patterns, yeah, okay, so we can create swimming, yeah, a sprite that's swimming. All right, so then we can also paint, yeah, same thing, you can upload, yes. All right, then we can add sounds to our work. We can add sounds, music, different kinds of music, or we can upload from what we were given. And then we can change all right the name, sound name. All right, so this is for the cat. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. all right. So the sounds we can upload to it. Okay, so it says echo. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. that's a robot sound. Louder. All right, so oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. So we can add sounds to it. All right, so mm -hmm. then let's talk about file. So if you want to make a new project, you click on new it will open new projects for us. So let's click. Okay, you want to replace? Okay, let's click on okay. Very good. So it's open. All right. So that's new. You want to make a new project now? Now load from your computer. So if you want. You have a previous work which you didn't complete but you want to work on it still. It's you load your previous work. Unlike this scr uh, Scratch 2, for the Scratch 2, you have to open like your file and it brings you to, yeah, you can work from there. But with this one, you can't open the file. You need to load, open your Scratch desktop. Then you load from your computer so you can work on the previous work. So that means you can open straight away the file and get to know it, it won't work. So you have to load always remember to load from your computer. Then after working, you whatever we do on a computer, we save it. You want to keep it okay? So we save to the computer. All right, so let's go to the load from your computer. All right, so load from your computer. These are some of the games. First, you have to look for the folder you open the folder so these are some of the games that mm, i tried working on all right so let's say this is okay apple game all right so we're gonna wait for some seconds okay so this is my game all right so if i click on the flag yeah all right so that's my bomb. That's my. I've not completed it. So, this is how to load from your computer. 
then if you want to edit then we have some tutorials which you can yeah view and learn more about okay so this is all about the interface the scratch desktop interface and let me talk later about it so with this it makes the stage smaller so you can get a bigger script area where you can work so if i click on it yeah i get a smaller stage and i get a bigger script area all right with this that was what i was working on yeah the normal yeah interface yeah and this after you get you have your work you click on the full screen and you can yeah work on your full screen you can that see what you've done your um work now you can see so let's return back as it full screen and go to the normal screen. subscribe leave your comment below you're going to like it yeah you respond to your comments about the video anything you want to say just drop it under and we are going to yeah we're going to um, reply reply you all right thank you very very much for the views okay see you again next time bye bye all right